to censor my comments. That's really strange. It just cut off. Um, talk about... Um, okay, so what are some of the things short... Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are some of the things short-term and long-term that it actually does to us? Well, short-term, what people have noticed is that uh, as soon as the meters are installed, the smart meters are installed, they have trouble sleeping. That's number one. And then there's also irregular heartbeats, heart palpitations, a fluttering of the heart. Uh, some people have uh, dependent, uh, they have uh, digestive disorders, they might have uh, diarrhea, they might have uh, uh, just an upset stomach, which they didn't have before. And how we know this is that those symptoms are present when they're in their own home, when they go to some place like a park, or where yeah. there's no wireless radiation, no dirty electricity, the symptoms disappear. Sure so long term, you're looking at neurological disorders, things like uh, no, um, uh, Parkinson's let's, disease, let's multiple sclerosis, ALS, uh, dementia is on the increase, autism, Asperger's syndrome. Okay. A lot of these things are, are showing up. So I guess us, you know, being in our 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s, we, you know, will get the end of it. But what about our children? What what type of effect does this have on our children? You know, our three, four, five, six, seven, and eight-year-old kids. Well, first of all, let me address the idea of us being 40, 50, and 60. <laughs> <laughs> that has to do with the quality of life. Okay. And we find that people that are more uh, susceptible are people that are the elderly, people that have got immune system challenges. Okay. They might already have some neurological disorder, but a lot of times it's linked to sleep. Yeah. And that sleep also translates over to the kids as well. The kids can't sleep, they toss, they turn, they're more agitated, they're more likely to become hyperactive. Okay. And they again will also have a digestive situation going on with them. Incredible, incredible. All right, well thank you very much Chris, for uh, coming on. There's a big honk for us. <laughs> and uh, we'll definitely be talking to you soon. Now, if people were interested in getting you to come in and test their homes for dirty electricity or Wi-Fi or anything like that, how would they reach you? They can reach me through my website, healthyhomesenvironmental.com. Okay. And my office number is 604-538-0809. All right. And sorry, I said Chris, Farron. Farron, yes. <laughs> Farron. And right. I do have a seminar coming up at Sacred Space in Vancouver. Okay. At 3574 West 4th Avenue. And what day is that? That's May the 15th, next Tuesday. Okay. And it's going to be covering all aspects of electropollution, dirty electricity, wireless, and different things that people can do both in the short term and the long term okay. to create situations like that. Great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm just going to grab a couple other people and... Hi, sir. Can you tell me why you're here today? Well, I'll tell you why I'm here. Because I don't want our atmosphere filled with any more radiation. It's all already too much. Okay. I already had to move out of a home that was near a tower and it damn near killed me. Really? What kind of effects did you have? I, I had such a pressure in my head that my ears were popping inside and I went partly deaf. I couldn't sleep. I was nausea all the time, stomach gas, pain in my joints. I go out into my acreage in, in Mission in Silverdale and I could work all day and do whatever I wanted mm -hmm. and to go back there and I couldn't hardly get a, my pants on in the morning. Wow, pain. so you're tired and in pain. And I know what, what the... Sorry, I know exactly what the symptoms are. And that's why I'm out here to let now, people know. Because there's people too many people being misdiagnosed. People they're sick from their radiation and they're misdiagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, migraine headaches, and crap like that. And taking all kinds of drugs. No, no, not me. I buy wireless devices left in their, their house radiation and they have area no idea what's causing the problem. Better off, but not Most anymore. They're putting towers up around. Everywhere. Everywhere. Sorry. I don't know where I'm going to move. To the mountains. <laughs> That's about it. But they're putting them all over. They don't yeah. have any clue. All over the place. They're going nuts. 
They're mad in their head. What about little babies, little infants that can't tell you that they're suffering? They cry. Then their mother's radiated too and she's suffering. So what does she do? She shakes the baby to make it stop crying. Some of them die from it. Thank you very much. Thank you. We need to get the information out to people to help save lives. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Can you do it again? I mean, no, I have skin rationality. We started this year. I created TBR. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's what the, that's a problem. Hi, why are you here today? Oh, wait one second. Sorry, sorry. I'll speak about it up here. Okay, all right. Smart meters, no smart meters, we will not be moved. Hey everybody! No smart meters, no smart meters, we will not be moved. Now I'm wanting you all to take a look at this sign. This is the uh, health conditions that happen when people are exposed to wireless devices. The exposure of microwave radio frequency causes some really nasty health symptoms. You can download this sign from our website, Citizens for Safe Technology Society, and get this out to people because there's uh, um, estimated 35% of the population. <laughs> Who are you anyway? From what? Uh, from this is Vancouver. They're sick with microwave mm. radiation, and they don't it's know what's making them sick, and, and they're going to the doctor, and the, the doctor is giving them <laughs> medication to sleep, medication for anxiety, depression, medication for sore joints. Please note that fibromyalgia mimics all the microwave radiation sickness symptoms. So make sure that you get this information out to people. You can get the sign from the sign section on our website. Perfect.